Right before I drive away to forget Why do I give a damn at everything we say up? G'day guys, Cast Chronicles, Biff here. Well, I am here answering another question again. And um, these questions are coming in and they're absolutely awesome questions and I'll do my utmost best to as answer as many as I can with a video like I am right now. Um, so this is from Peter O'Brien7465. Um, I used to know a Peter O'Brien from Cranbourne in Victoria. But anyhow, it says, love the videos, mate. Reinforces that I don't want to ever go to prison. Thanks for that. I will just keep my head down and mouth shut and do my own thing. I have a question and hope you can do a video on this. And I am Peter O'Brien. Um, just wondering what it's like for these dogs that kill a woman or child. Are they protected? Just thinking of that young lady that murdered, just thinking of that young guy that murdered the lady for a run in the forest near, oh, the lady that was going for a run in the forest near Ballarat. Do prisoners get to them or are they in another wing? I think I read that the guy who murdered Jill Ma was attacked by boiling water. Love to hear your opinion. All right, well, let's get into it. So the truth is, like, um, you know, people that are in like high profile cases that are all over the news and stuff like that, like um, Adrian Bailey, the guy that killed Jill Ma, um, people like that, because he was done for rape and, and basically generally if your charges are rape, you will nine times out of 10 get sent to protection just because of what your charges are. You can opt not to go to protection, but they are going to suggest that that is absolutely the best idea for you. And it's probably the truth. Um, um, but do all these people that kill women and children go to protection and get protected? Absolutely not. And the truth is they actually get filtered through the system. I, I honestly believe that it's on purpose. So if you go back through my videos, I'll actually try and join one video to the, at the end of this video on how I have managed um, in my jail career to get my hands on to two dudes that had killed children um and you know once once was just by by luck that was up at medical um that was that guy harley hicks who killed that baby in bendigo um he was going for his med medication and i was actually in um the slot at the time and they were taking me to get um something from up at medical i can't remember but when you are in the slot you get taken around in handcuffs anyway long story short he was getting his meds my door was open in the cell that they put me in and I got my hands on him you'll have to watch that video to see what I did um you know and another time um I was in Borrowdale which is the slot but it's kind of like it's a mat it's called a management unit it's where they put people that are in long-term slot you know um for years and years you know they put people in there or they segregate some people not segregate, they integrate some people like that have been in the slot. They go to Borrowdale to get used to a little bit more of not the slot and then they'll put them in a unit out the back, you know. But the truth is, you know, people do get their hands on these people fairly, fairly often, you know, and especially in places like Port Phillip is absolutely the most corrupt prison I have ever, ever seen. And, um, you know, absolutely, um, you know, the, the answer to that question is, um, you know, they do get sent to separate wings. They get sent to protection. And as a matter of fact, those people would get sent to protection from protection. So there is protection and then there is protection from those people in protection. I know that's a hard one to wrap your head around, but say, for instance, if one guy was already in protection and he has a fight with another guy and he doesn't 
and, you know, he wants to bail out, he's scared or whatever, then they've got to put him in protection from protection. But not only that, not all them people that are in protection are rapists and, and dogs and rats and this and that. I've seen some good blokes go there, you know what I mean? And just just um, simply because they had enough. Um, some blokes didn't want to fight 10 blokes one out, you know, and didn't want to get stabbed by 10 different blokes, you know, so they opted to go there. And, you know, I I don't see any, I don't feel bad, you know, I don't feel horrible against them people, you know. Um, Yeah, but like, you know, and then, yeah, so that, that is the protection from protection. But like, you know, the truth is all these people are not dogs and rapists and this and that. And so there are people who are in protection that will get those people that are on high profile rapes or murders and this and that. They will get them. Do you know what I mean? Those people, there is what's called a duty of care unit which is like it is protection, but it's people that are in protection, you know, that that aren't dogs. They didn't rat, um, you know, they're not rapists, um, you know, they're not pedophiles and, you know, they haven't snitched. So they put, you know, they're kind of like a bunch of staunch dudes, I would say, that aren't going to rat or this or that and maybe they just had enough. Anyway, that's called a duty of care unit and, um, you know, those blokes there, if the rapist get filtered through with those blokes right there, absolutely 100% they're going to get taken out, you know. And if you ask me, you know, I say it all the time, Port Phillip is pretty corrupt. You can even see there are interviews and whatnot on here right now from ex-Port Phillip prison guards that will tell you themselves how corrupt that place is, you know. And you've got to remember that, you know, these screws are just people. They haven't taken any special training or anything like that to, to not hold an opinion against, you know, these kind of people. So absolutely, 100%, you know, unless the officer's a rapist or a pedophile themselves, you know, they, they hate these people as well. And, um, you know, their time, any rapist, any pedophile, rah, 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 their time in prison is going to be absolutely abhorrent, you know. Um, even when people can't get their hands on them, they're still going to shit bomb them, they're still going to piss bomb them, you know what I mean? And, you know, so absolutely they do it. And, um, you know, I don't know if I've told the story, but I was in Scarb South once and um, if you guys know, if you know, you know, there's a holding cell in every single unit at Port Phillip, right? And so they will put people in them holding cells if they haven't got a cell in the slot. You know, they'll put people in these holding cells, which is basically the slot anyway. They've got no TV. They've got nothing. It's just a holding cell, you know, if they don't have enough cells for the slot. And, um, you know, one time they had put a rapist in that unit of all units and the screws told me that, that guy that's in there right now is a rapist. And so, um, yeah, and if you guys also know that the the meals are prepared and handed out by the prisoners at Port Phillip, do you know what I mean? So, you know, the prisoners are the ones who sort out the portions, this and that. And, um, yeah, so me and a couple of other blokes that worked in the kitchen, um, I asked them to give me a bit of meat out of the, um, it was like a stir fry, I've got like three or four bits of meat and so I got them and put them on a plastic fork and ran them all around the rim of my toilet. Um, I then took the drain off my, um, the drain cover off my drain in my shower, done the same thing there. The, the muck on there was so black, it's nearly making me dry reach right now and I'm sorry if it's making you guys dry reach. But anyway, and then, you know, so then what happens is the crooks, prepare the person that's in that holding sales meal they give them to the screws and then the screws give them to then and um yeah we he he ate that and we mixed it in with his stir fry and he ate that and i reckon it took about an hour about an hour for that guy to be that violently ill they had to air rush him to St. Vincent's Hospital and, um, yeah, I can't remember what it was but I actually gave him some kind of infection um, which was either from the toilet or from 
um, you know, the drain. And this is another thing that I, I will do a video on because it's kind of like chemical warfare. There are ways like this that you can get to people without hurting them, you know, like I also used to get, you know, at Port Phillip, you get a steamed chicken, you can get a steamed chicken. I used to get them put them in a in a milk carton, the milk carton that we get, and I'd close that milk carton up and I'd then put it on top of the fridge and because all the fridges have got like these heaters, generator things on the top of them, they're big like industrial fridges, and I would just let it um, sit there for months and months and months and ferment and it would get these juice in it. And, um, yeah, I would I would give pe- offer people's coffees and, um, and they would – drink that coffee and become very sick you know um yeah so i guess the answer to that question peter o'brien is absolutely you know these people do get sent to um separate wings but the truth is they do get filtered through some people can opt to put their hand up and say i don't want to go to protection i want to go to mainstream and um you know which is probably the biggest mistake in their life because they end up getting stretched out as quick as they came in but absolutely and um yeah they do they do get filtered through and um but they also do separate them as well and i will go to say that you know if you're at a prison like um um, MRC or Barwon or something like that, you're basically never, ever even even going to see someone from protection. Maybe the, the best you'll get is up at medical, you'll see them move one from one cell to the other. But um, at government jails, it is really, really hard to get your hands on these people. Um, but yeah, there you go, Peter O'Brien. I hope I answered that good enough for you. And, um, yeah, there you go, guys. We've been the Chaos Chronicles. And uh, if you haven't already, chuck me a subscribe. Jump up there. Chuck me a subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. And then that way, you'll never miss any of my clips. It will give you a reminder every single time I've dropped a new video like this one. All right, guys. We out. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.